Hey there, we're going to be talking about the period between September and December and I'm just going to call this light. So at some point in September guys, I was tired. Why I mentioned the 20 weeks scan in the last video was because that was when I told mom, see, you know, I'm actually expecting. So then I was 20 weeks, so was it 20 something weeks and obviously surprise, told my dad, told my brothers. And then I had started my friends one by one. And Nelly was the first friend I told, to be very honest. I actually told Nelly really, really early. In fact, I think she was the only one I told. Amaka and Steph and me were this WhatsApp group, but Steph was expecting at the time. And I didn't want to come and start coming and say, because the group was actually formed not really for Stephanie's pregnancy, but you know, just for three of us. So I just didn't want to bring it up. But at the same time, you can't just keep this kind of thing to yourself. At least one person. And Nelly is someone that has kind of, she's kind of out of the loop of things. So it was a way to actually draw her closer as well. And just be talking to Hasha and just even even checking up on her as well. So it was only Nelly that knew. So I now obviously said telling other people. Steph, I didn't even tell Steph. I'm, I'm Steph's um, child's godmother. So I just showed up for the baptism and she saw me. That's how she knew. I told Amaka. Okay, then ice cream, <laughs> my friend Ify. We had talked about the whole getting, you know, whatever this year. So she was someone that, you know, the conversation we had started already. So obviously. And then Chica, that's true. I seen Chica at 13 weeks. And this girl just messaged me and said, Are you with a child <laughs> when I go home? That she didn't want to sit over out there. And I, obviously, I won't be lying. So that was someone I had to tell because I didn't want to start lying. I, I wouldn't say no. I, I could have laughed, but I said, You don't want to let me tell her, but just keep it to yourself. And she kept it to herself. Yeah, then I started telling, you know, trickles, trickles, one, one, and all that. Did I even tell anybody again? I'm saying trickles, trickles. Anywho, second week of um, September, I think it was September 12th, Chantel was going back to um, Port Harcourt, and then she was like, ah, oh, that she wants to take pictures. She had always been saying she wanted to take, she actually wanted to take Notting Hill pictures, but you guys, because of my mood, interviews and everything I was doing, I did not really come out. For me, so I even had some Notting Hill pictures to do, but I had to go and take them with my PA separately. Even when my PA saw me, she was like, yeah, I said, shut up. Shut up. Which one pick that you, you came I just pushed the whole topic to something else. I didn't tell her either. And then we shot and everything. Lovely pictures. So she very, very beautiful pictures. And I was so heavy. You see the picture. Like, guys, I was over 20, maybe 20 something weeks in this shot. You know, what you have known because I was really Mary. Ha, ha, I forget Mary. Mary is another person that came. Probably the same period. Yes, Mary came in this period. So Mary came from Lagos in this period. So I saw immediately she saw me. She just like I had to even cut the video because I was vlogging that day because she knew she was looking at me. If someone watches her, you would know she knew what she was saying. So Mary helped me do some pictures. My mom she really wanted my bum pictures. So Mary helped me and she was so patient, did everything. I rubbed my leg, we even rubbed cream. And like I wish Mary was someone that was just in this London every time because anytime I just want to snap, she just gets the vibe, she understands the struggle. And then with the pregnancy, she was just nice that you we sure had five guys hung out, then hung out together with one of her friends at some point. So yeah, Mary was another person that knew. Okay, another friend that knew was Agogo because we had this Bulgari event and I was looking sure she asked me. <laughs> I had to say, I said I'm sleeping at home. I just had said one rubbish, but she suspected and but obviously she didn't want to start asking, you know, since I hadn't told her. But I still hold it kind of against her because she didn't really check up on me afterwards. Like, you, okay, you suspected everything, and then you're the only one I was really seeing. I saw her Beyonce. She didn't know at that time. Even me, that I wasn't even showing. I was just unnecessarily hungry that day. And I saw her at this uh, Bogart, and I saw her again the day I want to talk about. I don't know, she was the only one I was really keeping in touch. I just felt like if you suspected, you should have at least been checking. You know, she said she was praying, which is the most important thing. She had just been calling me to just check up on me, you know. Chantel wanted to do, she was going to turn 50k subscribers on YouTube really soon. So she wanted to take pictures at London Eye. Then again, funny enough, I had a theatre invite to go to a theatre very close to the London Eye. So we just did everything that we just added an hour, went there, shot everything, did the theatre experience and went home. The next day, guys... Hubby just walked in. I was on the table sitting down and looked at my email. I think they walked into the house and then I said, I looked at my email and then I saw if you want to discuss an offer, daddy, daddy, da. Like this was a job that I wasn't even, I didn't even tell anybody apart from him the name of the company because you know how. 
Something is just looking so real. <laughs> Let me show you applying and be going and be doing the interview. Oh, well, guys, I just dropped it. I just started crying. He just came. He didn't even know what was wrong with me. He looked at my phone. He now said, uh, you know, I wish I understood the whole matter. That's how you go. It's a woman in energy. So I obviously told my friends. Um, yeah, I said, told Michelle. Right now, I'm not even told Oluchi. I told Shoma. Then I called the girls I shoot with. That's Agogo, Demi, Mo. Told them together. They had already suspected. Because Demi had even seen me shooting one video where my face was... A lot of them were already suspecting. So, but we had um, Dinana officially told them. Told them the baby moon day. Told Fumi. Told Noye. Noye just took my shower on her head. In fact, I think the shower video will be, you know, the next segment so so no, no, uh, because i think because she didn't make my wedding so she had just said anytime i'm celebrating anything you know she would in fact when i told her she sent me a book on hypnobirthing sent me obviously you should check up on me i think she's the one i would say that's of all my friends okay no i think this baby has heard amaka's voice the most oh my god i forgot to tell you guys uju showed up would you surprise me? It's what, in fact, it was this same period from Lagos. She was just asking me, what, what days do you work? I told her. She told me she wanted an Amazon thing to come to my house to get my address. I gave her, that's what I went after work. She just pressed the bell. I just went, I was, ah! And then she came with chill. Then later we had dinner somewhere. Yeah, that was so nice. Like, out of all my friends, I think maybe Uju ice cream as well. Because the last time we had a conversation, it was quite, for quite long. But Amaka has called me a lot more times. So I think Amaka's voice is the voice maybe has heard like most. I would say everything just worked out for good. Like God just you know removed all that rubbish I was struggling for and just gave me where I will be taken care of. That's just the word. Like if there's a name that can mean more than I ask God, that's what's that's the name I want. <laughs> but right now what I'm holding on to is Kamsi Yochuku. Um Asha, with me blessing for a guy. Kamsi Yochuku is like how I ask God, girl named Ibo. I know it's a unisex name, but I wouldn't want a boy to answer it. Um, and I have Alexander, I have David, because of August, David, I have Patrick as well. Patrick is the name I've always liked and then, and I think that's where it will end for today. And then every other thing will now be like real time. <coughs> Good morning world. So I'm packed and ready for our trip to Antlia for our baby moon. Yes, yes, yes. Outfit of the day. Check. It's just the sets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay! So come along with us and let's have a good time in Turkey. Yay! sound like a big deal but uh, we're not allowed to go without it so we're currently waiting for engineers uh, they're hooking about the hangar um, over here to get a rivet and come and replace it they told me it's going to be at least 30 minutes before uh, they if they do get the piece uh, can fix it so we just ask you to bear with us uh, while we figure out what's going on but that's why we're not going I can only apologize uh, we just discovered it about uh, actually while you were all boarding and uh, EasyJet and the powers that be are trying to figure out what to do so uh, please bear with us if anything changes I'll let you know as soon as I do and uh, we'll try and get you in the way as soon as we possibly can thanks very much Taking an evening walk just across the hotel. Palm trees and all that good stuff.
Look into your eye, I feel so alive, alive, and all the time. Hey guys, so I haven't even said anything on the videos in a hot minute because I've just been living in the moment, taking pictures though. So look out for my Instagram, MG Travel and Liar. I think that's what I'll call the hashtag. I'm having breakfast now, Mazi's not here. Today is my shoot day. So I want to call this taxi like um, 9. And right now it's like 8 42. I need to hurry up with this breakfast. Breakfast is not much. Probably once I'm done with this, I'll see if I can have some fruits and then run upstairs to grab my team, change into what I want to wear for the first look. But the second look is going to be there because it's a dress. I'm going to rent from her friend or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's it too. Most of the outfits I'm wearing on this trip are PLT. When I see you dancing, I just feel so hard. So hard. But now you're gone. Look into your eye, I feel so alive. Alive. See you dancing, I just feel so high, so high, but now you're gone. I feel so alive, alive, all the time. I just feel so high, so high, but now you're gone. for my massage because i can't go into the sauna because of baby so this is my local for my stuff inside guys this sea life hotel they've taken care of me like literally it's not as if i don't even know there's somebody there's two girls who are in charge of like customer service with so their whatsapp i can message them for anything they've been so nice to me anything i ask for combo scissors and they will just do it for me it's so nice there's one especially so lovely i had to collect her instagram she just came to even give me a gift now that's you know they said the hotel love our gift but well, i'm sure it's her and then um even like just random things in the hotel it's just been so amazing see life hotel if you ever come to that night i just come here and just meet that girl i'm going to put her picture because you took a picture you know, my nose is so big in the picture but yeah thank you so much guys and this girl mm -hmm. you know i'm going to keep in touch on it i'm going to change into my tower now and have my 30 they won't be increasing to 50 minutes but that's fine yes yeah, so it's ready for massage So today is the last day here and I've just come out. I'm having breakfast alone as again and um, we're going to have lunch together before we leave. So that's fine. He's not really a breakfast person to be honest. So I came out to take pictures. I actually took some pictures here yesterday. It's just that I didn't bring out the phone to vlog because I think I was trying to rush. Now I still have about 40 minutes for the breakfast to be over. So it's fine. I'll just go there. Have a meal alone and yeah, just call it a day. So yeah, I've just shot this particular two pieces. This is one of the um amazing pieces i got when i used to work with firm locks now i think come here i didn't know they're still alive so to be honest i went to paris two years ago i should actually put that vlog up but yeah so i came out to take a picture i made it like a crop i so i made the bikini top thing and this is a midi skirt but i wore it as a dress yeah i wore it like really high but today i took it down and then you know showed my tummy and then wore it high as well because yeah i was too shy <laughs> so that's it so let's go have breakfast together 
my stay here has been so restful just what i ordered like i just wanted somewhere we'll come have inclusive meals we had breakfast lunch dinner supper they even before breakfast you can have something before breakfast after dinner there's something after dinner as well and then like i said we had the belly dance activity shot on a normal summer day i think here it's usually really packed and stuff but you know it wasn't a normal summer day Basically, we had the spa as well he had the turkish bath it was beautiful though they tried to make me do extra hours i don't that's the story for another day but let's just leave that part because those people at this part we had heard me yesterday anywho yeah and they were taking a walk around the water the mountain is down the view chill even like with mazi and i communication was just beautiful everyone was just kind thoughtful understanding like we're just obviously grown you guys we're going to be five years in a few days i don't know where i'm going to see this vlog but according to this we're going to be five years in a few days or weeks like one one week and one day Take all... your personal belongings with you, check it in the seat pockets underneath the seat and find me in the overhead lockers. Do take care when opening the overhead lockers in case any of them falls out. Smoking is not permitted in two regions designated smoking area which here at London Gatwick is well outside the terminal building. On behalf of your captain, first officer and title for crew, it's been our pleasure to look after you on this afternoon's flight. We do wish you a pleasant stay here in the London area and if you are returning home, let's be the first welcome you home. Thank you and a very good evening.